Welcome to the The Low Carb Carb Athlete Athlete Podcast, Podcast. where we focus on discussing topics to help you burn fat, optimize health, and improve performance in life and sports. Transform the whole you from the inside out with the holistic method. Let's dive in. Here's your host, Debbie Potts. Okay, everyone. I've got my shirt on to talk to Patrick Sullivan. It's fun to feel good. My new favorite quote, because I'm all about positive attitude, having fun, happiness, gratitude, and living life to the fullest every day. And so is Patrick from Jigsaw. I keep saying Jigsaw Puzzle. I said that my podcast I recorded yesterday, but Jigsaw Health, because I'm all about putting the missing pieces of your puzzle together to be fit and healthy from yep. the inside out. And we talked to you about uh, Jigsaw Puzzle. Sing this it again pickleball cocktail (laughs) last time. And I wanted to dive in a little bit more today about nutrients that you guys have at your company and how you're kind of transforming it to really helping people improve their performance and longevity. But we're going to also start with today talking about how chronic stress impacts the whole you and what, how it depletes you of what nutrients and how we can add our own little morning cocktail. And we'll talk about evening cocktail and timing of nutrients to really be fit and healthy from the inside out because exercise is good about 30, 45 minutes, but after 45 minutes, that increases your cortisol. You're depleting your body more. We're getting into summer warm months training. People are training longer. And what can we do to help improve that performance by avoiding having those muscle cramps and dehydration And you are kind of a good person to talk to about all that. (laughs) So thanks for coming. Well, I sure hope so. (laughs) I sure hope so. So uh, real quick, I love that you called it jigsaw puzzle because literally the the puzzle is how Jigsaw Health's name was inspired. My dad, who's the co-founder of Jigsaw Health, he and I started Jigsaw literally years in one day ago today. April 19th, 2005 is when we first launched jigsawhealth.com. And he's the formulator. He's kind of the mad scientist behind all of our formulas. Myself and my wife, Ashley, my business partner, we run the marketing and the operations and the the customer happiness team. And uh, my dad wrote a book called Wellness Piece by Piece that was published in 2004. It documents his really 30 year health journey, health odyssey, really, of trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> uh, he was a, you know, a soccer. Uh, he was a college athlete playing soccer. He, he grew up as a baby boomer. So he grew up kind of on white bread and antibiotics and mercury amalgams <laughs> and found out a lot of those things were pretty <laughs> much, yeah, not so good. So it was in his, you know, early twenties that he crashed, if you will, as, as he said, kind of fell into the pit and dealt with gastrointestinal problems and fatigue, anxiety, trouble sleeping, depression, just a whole host of issues. And, and just kind of said, look, if there is a, if there is an effect, then there must be a cause. Yeah. I have to figure out what the cause is. And over the course of time, uh, you know, this is really kind of pre-internet. This is sort of mid eighties when you had to go to a library, um, and for those listening at home, a library is this place that has books. Uh, yeah. And a book is this thing that is pages inside of a, <laughs> uh, you know, it's pre-internet time. And so he just kind of was like trying to figure out everything he could. And, and one of those things, I'm sure we'll talk, talk about it later, but one of those things especially uh, was magnesium. And, you know, a lot of different health books would have sort of a magnesium deficiency checklist. And he mm-hmm. would say, well, gosh, I got all these things. I have all these symptoms. So I must be deficient in magnesium. That must be the cause. So he'd run out to the drugstore and get sort of just whatever magnesium supplement was there. And because he had gastrointestinal problems, it would just go right through him. It would, it would sort of make his issues worse, which is that what led, it was the seed thought to mag SRT, uh, which is our sustained release magnesium studied in the Scottsdale magnesium study, a human clinical trial with 91 patients comparing MAG-SRT to placebo. Good news is MAG-SRT won. Um, <laughs> and, right. So a bit of a roundabout introduction to Jigsaw Health, my dad, why we love magnesium. Uh, but you were talking about 
specifically, um, I, I think you wanted to talk about like cortisol and, and as we know, cortisol is created by the adrenals mm -hmm. and the adrenals are, you know, glands that you really got to take care of. Yeah. The, well, the whole chain, right. The hypothalamus, pituitary and the adrenals. And I think, you know, looking at our shirts, it's fun to feel good. It's kind of the, what I strive in my holistic method that I talk about eight elements to really being fit and healthy on the inside and out the eighth, they're not in order, but is eight is happiness, gratitude, play, laughter. And I think for athletes that are usually we're type A, triple A, high performing, driven, <laughs> ambitious individuals that we need to get a little more fun in our life and laugh and play more. And I think so many people, athlete or not, that we're the high performing individual, we are on overdrive all the time and we wake up we just go charging, high charging individual all day long till we hit the pillow at night. And that's kind of my motivation is to help educate people. All right, that's not so good. It, like it took a toll on me, 2013, my life changed and my athletic career changed drastically. <laughs> and I now finally last year, I think it's to COVID, had some time to realize how to improve my quality of life and how much laughter play impacts our health and wellness but what kind of talk about real quick and then we'll get into the adrenal cocktail why we need to add some nutrients in our body it's fun to feel good and you have your happiness team you know why do we need why do you feel like we need more happiness and you guys make things fun and your blogs and stuff you send out are, are actually always funny <laughs> for a supplement company <laughs> yeah we are a <laughs> We're like a comedy acting troupe that just also <laughs> happens to sell the highest quality nutritional supplements that you can find. Um, as one person said to me, I think you're the only nutritional supplement company that also has a costume budget. <laughs> we have a phrase, laughter is the best medicine, mm -hmm. magnesium is a close second. Oh. <laughs> And I think the scientific reasoning behind that was really unlocked by uh, friend and mentor and scientific advisor of Jigsaw Health, a man named Morley Robbins. He's the creator of the Root Cause Protocol. His nickname is the Magnesium Man. Um, and he has really uncovered a lot of sort of older research from the, the 70s and, and even as far back as the 40s that was really looking at the balance of minerals in our body, particularly uh, copper's ratio to iron and calcium's, magnesium, calcium's ratio to magnesium. And one of the things that he, he coined a phrase of the magnesium burn rate, the higher the stress, the higher the body burns magnesium. And the reason is because the body utilizes magnesium to create ATP. What's ATP? Do you remember? Yes, but I, and you can explain it more than <laughs> energy. <laughs> ATP, mitochondria. yeah, adenosine triphosphate. <laughs> it's basically the energy molecule, but ATP is really Mg2 plus ATP. It is it requires magnesium. So the more stress that we're under, the more energy our body utilizes, therefore the more magnesium we burn up. So one of the things that Morley uncovered by doing um, really health coaching uh, and hair tissue mineral analysis and, and, and blood panels and stuff, he uncovered, he, 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 he just thought to ask this question, was there anything that's significant that happened right before you began sort of feeling different, right before all these other symptoms occurred. Mm -hmm. And he would say, Patrick, it was uncanny the amount of divorces or deaths in the family or losses of jobs or something traumatic that kicked up the stress and kicking up the stress kicks up the magnesium burn rate. And when the body begins to run low on magnesium, all sorts of crap happens right? The cells just stop functioning as well. The cells do two things. They create energy and they clear exhaust. They create energy and they clear exhaust and they require magnesium for both of those things. Magnesium, it's this cranial that waits. So it helps, it helps to create energy and it also helps me sleep. 
How is that possible? That's just part of what magnesium does in the body. So a, a, a kind of another interesting thing that Morley uncovered, another gem, uh, you'll see in countless articles across the web, magnesium is involved in over 300 uh, enzymatic reactions in the body. And so since people quote that, they keep quoting that. Well, that number came from the 1950s from Dr. Burt Valley of Harvard Medical School. And he basically said it was a best guess based upon sort of what they knew in the 50s. Morley has since tracked it to 3,751 known enzymatic reactions that magnesium is involved in. So it's involved in at least 10 times more things inside of the body than what we know of. Interesting. Yeah, because I think, you know, we always hear to take magnesium at, at nighttime to, or for when you're cramping. And so in the daytime, we talk about that slow release magnesium, as you guys sell. I know nutritional therapy and I'm coaching part time for Ben Greenfield with it's on our list to recommend when appropriate. And then we also hear magnesium is good to take at nighttime. And also if you're constipated <laughs> as well yep. as, you know, you can't sleep. So magnesium does so much, but so it's just timing wise, you know, to take it a slow release throughout the day or is, you know, then we want more at nighttime. And it's just, it does so many things for our body and so many different benefits. So how do people kind of figure out what they need to take? And we kind of have 300 plus different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> or 3000 different 3, 000, reasons. Yeah. Well, what we've done at Jigsaw Health is to create uh, really two specific complementary forms. In the morning, for the viewers that are watching this, yeah. we have MAG SRT, that's Sustained Release Technology. Um, and this uses a form of energizing magnesium called dimag dimagnesium malate. It's basically magnesium bound to malic acid. And that form helps to create energy. You, you want to take a good amount of it, and that's why we do it in a time release. So one dosage of MAG-SRT is 500 milligrams, which is 400%, I'm sorry, 125% of the recommended daily intake. Uh, at night, the second form that we use for the viewers at home that can see this, we have these little packets of mag soothe. This uses magnesium glycinate. So it's a chelated form. It's basically magnesium bound to glycine and amino acid. And the great thing about that is that it actually helps to sort of calm the brain chatter. Mm -hmm. So for myself, for thousands of other people who yeah. take this 15 <laughs> minutes before bed, instead of sitting there and thinking about what are all the things that I have to do tomorrow, or what are all the things I didn't get done today? It really just helps to sort of calm me and help me fall asleep. So these two things together, this uh, this contains 200 milligrams of magnesium. So it's a total between the two of 700 milligrams. So you'd say, well, is that too much magnesium? Well, again, let me turn back to my friend, Morley Robbins. He quotes a uh, an author a researcher named Mildred Selig that said, basically we need per, so RDI recommended daily intake or recommended RDA recommended daily allowance is the, well, it is RDI technically. So RDI recommended daily intake is based upon the minimum amount needed to stave off deficiency. So if on the regular, you're getting less than a hundred percent, you're by definition, creating a deficiency. Mildred Seelig, the author of The Magnesium Factor, came up with a formula that said, we need five milligrams per pound of body weight per day per for sort of optimal intake. So for every 100 pounds of body weight, we need 500 milligrams per day of magnesium from all sources. And Morley's corollary is increase stress increases so will you say that calculation again so people can write yes. that down <laughs> absolutely it, it's you know if you I'll, I'll sort of say it this way it's five mil well it's five milligrams per pound of body weight per day so if you weigh a hundred pounds that would be 500 milligrams if you weigh 200 pounds that would be 1000 milligrams 150 pounds 750 milligrams Okay, everyone got that. 
So, uh, yeah, there, there will think, be a math test later. Yeah, do your math. <laughs> if this is in the morning, might wake you up. I think a lot of people struggle with sleep. And that's one of my number one things that always seem to have to start with people on their sleep hygiene routine and how to optimize sleep more than even nutrition for a lot of clients. Like, all right, let's get your sleep going on and mm -hmm. creating that sleep hygiene routine. So I kind of look at what time they need to wake up and work backwards, stop eating three hours before bed. And let's create that sleep cave and keep a, a consistency evening consistent evening routine to help kind of calm them down. But a lot of times people have that monkey brain and mm -hmm. they're just, they can't fall asleep and they're kind of tired, but wired. And then they also, those people that wake up in the night and can't, their brain wakes up again and they're just like, I can't shut it off. So you're saying mm -hmm. the Meg Soothe having the glycine in it helps for calming it down. Does it have effect on neurotransmitters like have GABA production and help feel that calm quietness? I don't know to that level. Um, I know anecdotally for myself and for, you know, thousands of other customers, it does reportedly get, you know, a lot better sleep on Amazon. This product has over a thousand reviews uh, and I think it's like a 4.6 rating. So obviously it doesn't work for everything, not for everyone. Not everything does work for everyone, obviously. Um, we did a, I mentioned that we did a clinical trial with MAG SRT and we're right now doing some research on doing a sleep study with MAG Soothe to look at some of those things, to look at what happens to GABA, to look at uh, magnesium levels. And really one of the things is like, um, you know, leg cramps. So leg cramps, when I was a kid, I wish my parents knew more about magnesium. I played a lot of soccer growing up uh, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, these long tournament weekends. And then by the time Sunday night rolls around, uh, I mean, my legs were just in so much pain. And, you know, my parents didn't know really anything other than like, here, you know, here's a heating pad or eat a banana. Well, number one, I hated bananas, never liked them growing up. And number two, bananas really have a lot more potassium than magnesium. So one of the things that I learned from another scientific uh, advisory board member is there's actually two types of leg cramps. If you're exercising, if you're in the midst of that activity and you begin to cramp up, that's likely a sign of a potential potassium deficiency. But if you're done playing the activity or if it's in the middle of the night and you get a Charlie horse, that's actually likely a sign of a magnesium deficiency. So we do include both magnesium and potassium in uh, the electrolyte, or, I'm sorry, in the, the MagSoothe product. Um, and I was saying electrolytes because we also have an electrolyte product called Electrolyte Supreme that includes both magnesium and potassium. And then I think we were gonna uh, eventually come back around to the adrenal cocktail, which has quite a bit of potassium in it. Okay. And that's a great, we sort of aim for like a 10 a.m. and or 2 p.m. Uh, shot of adrenal cocktail, if you will. So for people, when they're exercising to, as it gets hotter out this time of year and people get dehydrated, they should have some type of potassium in their drink mix in their water bottle on their bike or when they're running or something or playing pickleball. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, pickleball. You said my favorite <laughs> word. <laughs> well, I would change one word to what you said. I would say not when they get dehydrated. Yes. Before, before they get dehydrated. <laughs> you know, late. it's all, yeah. Hydration really is an everyday uh, thing to think about. And it's more than just water. You know, so many people think of hydration and they think of water, but they don't realize that especially any reverse osmosis it removes all the minerals. It, it's, it's, you know, some people will call it dead water. So adding something like Jigsaw Electrolyte Supreme or Jigsaw Adrenal Cocktail or Jigsaw Pickleball Cocktail, those things are going to add back the, the magnesium, the potassium, and, and even the trace minerals uh, that are there. So I, I think that that's, you know, we have it, we sponsor Jigsaw Health sponsors a number of pickleball professionals. And one of the things that we learned in particular about that sport is that tennis, you know, pickleball is most commonly can, um, compared to tennis, but tennis tournaments last, you know, two weeks and you play one match every other day. Pickleball, the entire tournament is played over a weekend and those are different brackets. So like if you're in the singles event, it starts at 8 a.m. And if you win gold, you might play until 5, 6 p.m. And you have played 
really hard that whole time. So we found that pickleballers were cramping like crazy. In fact, a lot of them were continually having to, they were cramping so much they were having to withdraw. So as we began to supply them with, uh, you know, various jigsaw health products, they were kind of coming back and saying, uh, this stuff works amazing. How do I, how do I get more of this? Well, that's same with in an Ironman, you know, especially I did Ironman in Hawaii many years and cool. hot weather racing, you see people throwing up on the side of the road or cramping. Yep. <laughs> so yep. it is, you know, needed in all sports. I think when you're working out a long time in the hot weather that in all weather, I think so many people are already dehydrated in the first place before they start. So we have to learn mm -hmm. how to prehydrate, not just with water. Cause I, who's it? Um, Dr. James Dinoico, whatever his last name is, a big name. He has a great new book on mineral fix and he wrote the immunity fix too, I love. But the, the importance is to remember that, you know, water doesn't necessarily hydrate you. You need the minerals in the water to bind to your cells so you're actually hydrating your body, right? So it's just learning how to prehydrate. So you're not already starting your workout dehydrated and not just depend on water or, you know, I hate people to use Gatorade and Powerade and all that crappy stuff. So it's just, sometimes I just tell people, you just need minerals in your water and to get those electrolytes yep. in, and it's not needed to buy fancy Gatorade, Power Bar, Powerade, whatever. Well, Gatorade and the like is essentially 50 year old plus technology. The reason it's called Gator Aid is because it was designed Gators. by scientists at the University of Florida in the 70s to aid the Gator football team because they were cramping so much in that Florida heat. And so they put in a bunch of sodium, a little bit of potassium, and a bunch of sugar. It's like, you know, a 16 ounce of Gatorade classic formula contains, I think, 25 grams of sugar and the average daily intake for an adult male i want to say is 35 grams of sugar that's sort of the the ada's recommendation uh or the ama's recommendation or the american heart association's recommendation mm -hmm. fda i think gives it at 50 milligrams or i'm sorry 50 grams so yeah it's you get sugar from so many different places and there's no doubt that our body does need a certain amount of glucose. I mean, if we don't have glucose, we're, we will break down. Yeah. But we need one teaspoon. Isn't it one teaspoon in your blood? <laughs> yeah. It's, it is, it is not, it is not the Gatorade thirst quencher size bottle. Yeah. Um, so one of the things, uh, one of the products that my dad developed, uh, I think about now six years ago, uh, was a product called Electrolyte Supreme. Uh, and again, he developed it for himself. <laughs> all the product, pretty much all the products in our line are sort of like, all right, I'm starting to get dehydrated out here on the golf course. So we live in Arizona. My dad loves to golf. He's been golfing his whole life. It's his escape. Uh, and in Arizona, because it's so dry, you're sweating, but you don't really realize that you're sweating because you're not really perspiring. It's just, but you're utilizing the same mineral, you know, you're losing the same mineral content that you would use lose in uh, on a humid day in Florida. So electrolyte Supreme, and I actually, I think I'm going to make one for myself while I'm here. <laughs> um, so the electrolyte Supreme, it's great. It's sugar-free. We use instead organic erythritol, monk fruit, and stevia to sweeten it. Berrylicious is by far my favorite flavor, but we also have a great lemon lime flavor and we're coming out with a new fruit punch flavor wow. pretty soon. Uh, so for those at home, they get to see sort of the power being made. I've got my boss, boss. glass here. <laughs> um, and, you know, mix it with 16 ounces of water. It's got a nice, uh, pretty color, pretty color to it. Um, mm. <laughs> Tastes delicious. It's a broad spectrum of electrolytes, mm -hmm. whereas Gatorade and Powerade and a number of the other sort of products that are out there, they'll have um, 
they don't have the same mineral content that we do. They, they just, they don't have as much. They don't put as much in there. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a cost savings thing, but we just put more in there. The second thing is, is if you look at products like liquid IV that have become pretty popular mm-hmm. over the last year, they do have good mineral content, but they also have a lot of sugar. They've yeah. got 16 grams of sugar. Now, what's funny to me is they call it cellular transport technology. It's at Costco. Well, that's why it's making it Costco because it has so much sugar in it. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is. Um, and then you've got other products like Zip Fizz, um, which are also popular at Costco. And they have pretty good profile, but they also, inc- and they are sugar free, but their sugar substitute is sucralose, mm-hmm. which is can be a little mm-hmm. troubling for some people. Sucralose is generally think of as like Splenda. That's mm-hmm. the kind of the brand. So if you get any kind of Splenda headaches, that wouldn't be great for you. Plus it also includes hundred milligrams of caffeine. Um, we are utilizing B vitamins for energy. Now yeah. zip fizz to be fair, they also use a little bit of B12, but it's really the caffeine. If you're sort of like getting that hit, that zip hit, if you will. Um, you know, I, I think that the, the, the formula that dad has put together is really good. It tastes good and it works good. Um, so, have you measured you know, obviously it Obviously, I'm your, biased. Yeah. Well, have you tried it with measuring your blood sugar? Have you ever worn a continuous glucose monitor at NutriSense or Keto Mojo? It'd be interesting I to see not. what it, those sugars among fruit, there's because there's three in there, right? Monk fruit, and you said two others. Monk fruit, stevia, and it's stevia. the organic erythritol. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see does it do any, I, that's individual response though but just how it responds to people's blood sugar if that's okay mm, to the yeah. fruit, but just because it has a little bit of sweetness to it sometimes yeah. the blood sugar will spike anyway is that what you're mm-hmm. thinking mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah i haven't looked into that i have to test it out i have to get my nutrisense on again it's a great little test to do it's 14 day you know the continuous glucose patch uh-huh. and then i can do all those little self-study tests to see how it does your blood sugar but I want to talk about blood sugar is related to the next subject is chronic stress, because even if people are eating good, healthy macronutrient ratio of healthy, real nutrient dense foods, and they're doing some shorter, easier workouts, fasted and doing all the so-called right things, but they're still not able to burn fat, improve performance, and they're impacting the oxidative stress in the body. So the aging process with everything they're doing because the impact of chronic stress on our life, Mm. external chronic stressors, as well as our hidden internal stressors that are not known about unless we do lab testing. So with that, you know, what have you guys discovered with your own, your dad, you know, you started talk earlier, I switched subject somehow, (laughs) it's easily done. That's fine, we're having some. We're having a hole on HPA access, adrenal exhaustion, we used to call adrenal fatigue, but it's really the hypothalamus talking to the pituitary, talking to the adrenal, that communication system gets overworked. So talk a little bit about your company's experience with chronic stress and the, the creating of adrenal cocktail and the why of the ingredients and the benefits and timing of it. The, uh, the Jigsaw Health Adrenal Cocktail was, it was almost borrowed from an online formula being, done, that being followed by uh, root cause protocol root cause protocol advocates. Uh, and again, that was created by Morley Robbins. You can, you can learn more about it at rcp123.org. Um, the adrenal cocktail was being made, uh, with a, a, a pinch of like, or it's like two tablespoons of sea salt, some cream of tartar, and then like, a squeezing a lemon or an orange juice into this glass. It was a concoction, um, Gosh, I wish I could give her credit, but I cannot remember her name uh, at this point. If you Google adrenal cocktail, you're going to find the woman that created it. And we, we just thought it was a clever, cool formula. We knew people were doing it. And when I talked to Morley about it, I said, you know, we could actually make this a lot simpler for people. We could combine those three things together. Although instead of a pinch of, um, like citrus, what we'll use is acerola cherry to get the whole food vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Instead of cream of tartar, what people are really going for is the potassium content. So we'll use potassium bicarbonate. And then for the salt, what we did, what we ended up using was Redmond sea salt. Uh, It's a brand of salt in Utah that is a 
think of it as almost a whole food salt. It's not the stripped uh, NACL. It's a brown salt mm -hmm. that has all the trace minerals present. So um, we actually do not flavor that product. And I will warn you, it does not taste particularly good. Um, in fact, we made a little funny, a funny Friday video, uh, maybe a year or two ago, uh, making fun of ourselves for we actually sell this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people will flavor it with OJ. Uh, some people will flavor it, but we'll just sort of water it down. Uh, some people will, you know, they'll just use more water. Some people just do it as like kind of a, a little shot. Uh, what is interesting is it, it's not that it tastes bad. It's just very salty. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is the amount of people that say, oh, I love that salt taste. And I've heard doctors talk about that's a sign that your body is super deficient in salt in those minerals. If your body is tasting that salty, really salty taste, and it's like, oh, that tastes good. That's a good sign that this product is doing good for you and in and, and, and plugging that hole. So uh, yeah, we call it adrenal cocktail named after, uh, again, I wish I could remember her name, but the original formula um, and it, it's been a, a great product. We don't flavor it because the people, there are many people in the root cause protocol that are, um, very, very sensitive to any sort of flavoring ingredients. So we do flavor electrolyte Supreme. We don't flavor adrenal cocktail. Yeah. I, I know when I've done my HP access program in FDN, we have recommendations and it had the adrenal cocktail and as well as other things like celery juice mm -hmm. and cucumber juice mixed together, mm -hmm. fresh squeeze, but getting those electrolytes and the minerals, especially the magnesium or not magnesium, but the sodium and potassium yep. is a big part. But the vitamin C, talk about, you know, why is it vitamin C important for people with chronic stress or excessive stress? Yeah, the, the adrenal glands love vitamin C. I don't remember the stats off the top of my head, but there's a certain amount of vitamin C that's used up by the adrenal glands that is much higher than sort of any other part of the body or most other parts of the body. I should probably say, kind of cover my bear. Uh, the adrenal glands just love vitamin C. They love the sodium and the potassium and it helps them to get sort of more in balance and more just functioning properly. Um, the, the, the biggest problem I think with excess cortisol, uh, if the adrenals are, cortisol is what the adrenals create uh, in response to stress. If, this, if the adrenals are doing that for too long, just imagine an engine that's running at super high speeds for a long time and they can, they can crash. They can basically say, we give up, we're done. We've been creating too much cortisol for too long. Um, the other thing is, is that elevated cortisol for a excess period of time can really put your body and your mind on edge. Um, you know, there's, there's sort of a breaking point of stress where, you know, your body just, it can only sort of hold on for so long before you just fall off a cliff and you're like, I'm broken. This is not, this, this is not me. That was <laughs> this me is some... March 2013, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'm I'm curious if I can ask, and I'm you, I hope you've shared this with your audience. Mm -hmm. But what happened in sort of February of 2013? Well, I started to have the red flags. Ironically, we had a conference. Ben Greenfield. We did a superhuman coach conference with um, talking about HP HP access. You know, we're talking about cold thermogenesis and all this stuff. And at the same time, I was learning about adrenal fatigue and exhaustion. And, and what I started to see was. I was, it did a trail run and my heart rate was elevated and I was just having a hard time keeping my heart rate down. And I was doing a 50 K trail run and which should be easy for me because I just did Ironman Hawaii and a marathon and mm -hmm. all this stuff, which mm -hmm. was part of it. But I had red flags in February where my heart rate was really high and I struggled with pace. And then the other big thing I wrote in my book, life is not a race whole chapter of it. I, was at a conference and I did 
did a fasted workout. I was too low carb and I was too strict with everything. So like type A driven person that's like, oh, low carb, let's just be too strict. As an athlete, you can't be that low carb. <laughs> you need some. Yeah, carbs. no kidding. And so I would do that. And we had a, um, I had some alcohol, some wine and I was sick for a week. I threw up <laughs> everywhere on this wine tour we were doing. I was so just, I had my liver was just extremely congested, obviously. And I wasn't able to detoxify the alcohol and just my gut health. And then it was just this whole domino effect of pathogens in my body, H. pylori, blastohominis, food sensitivities, insulin resistance, you know, anything, you name it, I've had from that because, you know, and I gained 30 pounds was the main part of the story I was share that I was, you know, super fit, my best shape of my life, placing my age group. I just got off amazing race year doing triathlons and cycling and running and trail running. And, but it was stress from that exercising too much, but it was also stress running my own business for 10 years. Luckily I closed it October, 2018, but I had constant stress being a business owner, trying to do everything yeah. on my own and it was never ending. And then that just accumulated when we're doing too much exercise. Cause that was another additional source. So I was talking about the external stressors. It just, everything kind of accumulates and you get this beaker of stress that's overfilled. And so you have this yep. whole domino effect of internal burnout and breakdown of your body systems. And that's, that's what right. I, why I do what I do now <laughs> It's help people the, do what I did. I mean, uh, please. I yeah. Uh, the words that triggered for me, there were a beaker of stress. Mm -hmm. What, what a great visualization that is where your body can fill up with so much, so much. And it doesn't, you know, it's like, you don't really feel the effects until it starts to spill over. Yeah. But when it spills over, you're, you're screwed. I mean, <laughs> if things go bad. I'm sorry. Our bodies can only take so much. We are not uh, infinite potential. I guess we're infinite potential, but we're not infinite beakers. Yeah. You know, well, we I think have we think to listen to those signs. Yeah. But you're people yeah, think we're not invincible, invincible there you go. and superhuman. And I think we feel yeah. like we're so, if people that are athletes think they're so fit and healthy. And that's why I always say, are you fit and healthy on the inside out? Because so many right. athletes think they're just, I can do anything and I can eat anything. I can tolerate whatever stress, you know, I was waking up at three 30 in the morning and not getting home till seven 30 at night and go to bed at yeah. nine. And I was just burning the candle at both ends. And I think a lot of athletes, do that or any driven individual to fill in the blank what you're doing with your day but we're addicted to busyness and we don't know how to slow down stop push the pause reset button we just fill up every moment of the day with something so when people try yeah. to sleep they don't know how to shut it off they don't know how to turn off the brain and chill unplug relax and disconnect so they can connect with their own self and their family yeah that is, uh, I mean, that's a very powerful story. And I hope your audience is listening to you and doing what you say. <laughs> do what Debbie says, everybody. Yeah. Just do it. Save I mean, yourself the heartache. You know, and it's, you know, I realized until COVID last year, I never really slowed down. We moved from Seattle to North San Diego because we were both able to work online now. So we're like quality of life. And I realized, I'm sure everyone did. And we had, we were all forced to slow down and look at our life last year. And yeah. I think it really, hopefully people learn some lessons. I know I've talked to a lot of people I've interviewed that they travel all over the world. And Sean Wells was saying he'd be gone every week traveling. And, you know, all these people that finally actually got to stop and be at home for a month, two months, three months, yeah, and really look at our lives, go, are we doing what we want to do? Is it serving me purpose? And yeah. looking at what your why is, what your purpose is, passion, and are you following your mission in life to help performance for those in daily life and sports, but also what do you want to be doing when you're 80, nine years old? How do you want to be living your life? And that's what I have learned a lot of since then. So side that's story, great. but, <laughs> but that's Garth why we Brooks need the adrenal it. cocktail, right? Because <laughs> I yeah, think that's everyone's right. like why, tired, but wired. I get clients all the time that they're, you know, mothers who, especially this past year, 
and this is nothing new with athletes, but people that are burning the candles at both ends, trying to take care of everyone else, but their own selves. And a lot of people don't have the, they feel guilty if they help themselves first. And so I was thinking that put the oxygen mask on first, but for someone to go, okay, I need to take magnesium soothe before bed. I need to take these electrolytes and I need to you know, stay hydrated throughout the day. I need to take some adrenal cocktail in the morning to hydrate and fire up my energy levels. And I think it's hard for people to go, oh, I have to spend money on my health and invest mm-hmm. in my health. And they don't want to spend money on their, on themselves or do what they can do to really be health optimizer. Cause I think it's people help everybody else, but their own selves first. Yeah. Well, the good news is some people do, some people sort of see it as a you know what? I am going to feel better. I'm going to feel great when I'm 65, when I'm 75, when I'm 85, and I'm going to invest in that now. And there's a lot of wisdom in that. Um, you know, I've seen my, my dad as a great, almost anti example, you know, he was in his twenties feeling like crap. He's now in his late late sixties feeling great because he was able to turn it around by learning how the body operates and figuring out how to remineralize, to rebuild the immune system. So I have him as both a positive and a negative example. Uh, I was going to say earlier when you were talking about COVID and all that we all, you know, we all went through that. It reminded me of a movie I think I watched during COVID, the documentary on Garth Brooks that he said, everything in life is a, that is a blessing is a curse and everything that is a curse is a blessing. And there's two sides to that coin that I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of wisdom to that. And maybe you could say that same thing of like, uh, it's, it's kind of a pain. It's a curse to have to figure out what supplements I should take and to spend money on putting together a, a daily routine, but it could be a blessing when you're 65, 75, 85, because you put in the effort, you put in the cost. So, you know, obviously I have a, I have a dog in the fight as well as a dog, a dog. sleeping right next to me, <laughs> yeah. but, but you know, I'm, I'm also blessed that as my parents learned about nutrition um, you know, I went from being the teenager that had the leg cramps from all the soccer stuff to the kid who was taking lots of herbs and had, you know, very little uh, sickness and flu and stuff like that in my twenties, I'm, I'm very blessed to have a knock on wood, healthy immune system because my parents just sort of built in, Hey, family, this is what we're taking. Cause we don't want anybody ending up like dad. Yeah. Yeah. So true. I know it's rough. I know it's, it's good inspiration. To look at your parents, how they're aging and just how much of it is our choices that we make in life now to look at how do we want to be living our life later on. And I think, you know, I look at my parents who turned 80, who, you know, they're in mental good shape, but they're not active. And like, you know, it's a choice if you want to get out and walk each day or do some strength exercises. And it's, yeah. it is all the choices we make now impact well, our future. Why aren't self. they playing? Why aren't they playing pickleball? I mean, 80 <laughs> is a great age to get out on I know, the pickleball Desert, courts. Everyone does that too. Absolutely. It's one of the meccas of pickleball. (laughs) So I know we're going to, of course, running out of time already, but the other supplements like B vitamins, vitamin D, what else other things should people look at when they go to your website? Well, if you go to jigsawhealth.com or you could kind of jump ahead and go to jigsawcomplete.com, that'll take you to our packeted products. Um, So we've got three versions of that that include various levels of nutrition and it's a, a daily packet. Uh, Jigsaw Basic is a once a day that includes, uh, you mentioned B vitamins. It's a, all the active forms of B vitamins, but in a sustained release technology, mm-hmm. similar to Mag SRT, which is also included. And one of the reasons for that is that B vitamins don't get stored. They're water soluble. So your body has to sort of take them and use them. It can't store them up for a later day. And so, you know, my dad came up with, well, the same sustained release technology that we're doing for magnesium, we're going to do that for B vitamins so that you're getting sort of, instead of a spike of B vitamins, mm-hmm. you're getting a a drip, if you will, of B vitamins over the day. 
Um, it also includes curcumin and cod liver oil and a, a multi-mineral. So we cover a lot of bases at a very fair price um, with the Jigsaw Basic, with the Jigsaw Complete or the Jigsaw Ultimate. Those would be a great place for anybody to start um, from a sort of complete nutrition, daily packeted product. The other products that we've talked about, if you really just want to start with a spot solution, I might say start with the Mag Soothe. Um, so many people, like you said, have trouble sleeping. Mag Soothe is a, it's a powder. You mix it in four ounces of water right before you go to bed. It helps to sort of stave off leg cramps and, and to sort of calm down that brain chatter. And it's going to give you 50% of the RDI of daily magnesium. So if you're sort of on a budget or you just want to start with something simple as a point solution, start with Mag Soothe. Um, if you're willing to go full, you know, full boat, you can get Jigsaw Ultimate and Mag Soothe and Adrenal Cocktail, which we talked a lot about, and Electrolyte Supreme. You know, that's probably somewhere around the lines of $160 a month worth of stuff. Um, maybe it's 180. I'm, I'm not sure what the math off the top of my head, but maybe it's going to save you uh, a lot of hospital bills sometime down the road. I don't know. I can't make predictions like that. <laughs> I just know uh, thanks to Morley Robbins, uh, our bodies work so much better when the minerals are balanced. Mm -hmm. um, they, they create energy the cells create energy and they clear exhaust when we have the right mineral balance. And so it, it doesn't have to be super complex. It, you can go as deep as you want to go down the rabbit hole. But if you're looking for just a good way to get started, you know, jigsawcomplete.com would be a, a good place to start. Um, and I believe we created a coupon for your listeners, did we not? Uh, let me look at my notes here. I could have sworn that we did. We did yes, it last time. So look it up. What is it? Uh, the the low carb athlete ten, the low carb athlete one zero will save you ten dollars on your first purchase, and you'll also be supporting Debbie a little bit to thank her for putting these great podcast episodes out. Uh, and Debbie, I thank you for letting me go down some different rabbit holes with you today. It's yeah. been really fun. Anytime, and you guys can order your new, your shirt too that's right the low <laughs> the look we need to get a, a patch on the side that says low carb athlete it's yeah, fun, to, it's feel fun good. to feel good i love this shirt and it's really soft and cozy too so i do wear it <laughs> yeah but, yeah that, you know that's the nice thing when you do nice t-shirts people will actually wear your swag uh yeah. if you get the cheap like you know the white cotton, cotton scratchy <laughs> Heck, it's like, I don't want to wear this shirt. This shirt sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time today. And we look forward to uh, seeing you guys sometime out here in the future. And as you play pickleball at what's that court called? I went to it has good coffee. Woodsy coffee is next to the Bobby McGee or Bobby. Bobby Riggs Bobby Tennis Riggs. and Pickleball Club. Yeah. Although it's a lot more pickleball than tennis these days, right? In Encinitas, California. It's a great place. You could, I, I've played there a bunch of times, know the owner, uh, Steve and Jen Dawson really well. Great, great people. In fact, Jen Dawson just won uh, a gold medal in the Senior Pro Pickleball US <laughs> Open happening in Naples, Florida. She did that on Sunday night. Oh, Kudos wow. to her. She's, uh, I don't know exactly how old she is, but she's above 50 and she's still one hell of an athlete. Um, and she used to cramp up Okay, another little pat on the back. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> but she used to be a big time cramper. Ever since she started taking Jigsaw products, she's not cramping anymore and it's not magic. She's just giving her bodies the minerals that it needs on a daily basis so that when she gets out there and she plays for a, you know five matches in a day, she, her body's able to keep up with her. Well, I told you how we went there because we were looking up a coffee place after we went running one morning and there we ended up right there, Woodsy Coffee attached to the, the facility. And what did I see up on the, the net or the wall fence? But your banner, Pickleball Cocktail. <laughs> yep, yep. So Jigsaw really cool. Health Pickleball Cocktail. Yeah. So thanks so much. I know we're supposed to play pickleball soon. Neil and I, we got a, for Valentine's day, a basic starter kit and all the people, Good. my new friends I've met here, what did they do? Go play pickleball at that Bobby Riggs place. So you gotta be, That's and awesome. learn how to play and be with all the, be the cool kid on the block. <laughs> oh, you're going to pick it up really quick. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to love it.
Yeah, just is the problem is finding time <laughs> in the day because I like to swim, bike, run, and lift weights and do all that too. And like, <laughs> so we'll figure it out. But once you begin, I have a prediction that you drop one of those things. I'm not sure which, but you're going to be like, you know what, let's go pickle. <laughs> I know. Well, the weather's warmer. It's more enticing to be outside. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Let us know if you have questions, and I'll put everything in the show notes on the links we talked about and then some of the key points I wrote down here. If I can transfer them over into the show notes. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the Low Carb Athlete Podcast. If you have any questions, feedback, or topic suggestions, let us know on Facebook or at DebbiePotts.net. You can help us to continue to grow by leaving a review on iTunes. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.